Come on a walk with me and let's see what street trees are blooming here in Philadelphia already. Most of the species that are flowering this early are not native, including the very popular cherry blossom trees. Now there are a number of different cultivated varieties of cherry that are planted all over and have slightly different flowering times and flower colors. In 1926, the government of Japan gifted over a thousand cherry blossom trees to Philadelphia, and they've been popular street trees and park trees ever since. I'm personally not a huge fan of these cherry blossoms, and I think they're a bit overplanted, but I do appreciate their bright flowers and their ability to grow well in many tough soil conditions. The native red maples are in bloom too. This tree here was a male, and so these flowers were male flowers and won't produce any seeds, and this is a female tree. You can see that the flowers are past bloom, and the maple seeds, or samaras, those little helicopter things that fall and twirl to the ground, are already forming on this tree. This one is the Cornelian Cherry Dogwood, or Cornus Moss, which makes bright yellow flowers in early spring that eventually mature into these large fruits, which, when ripe, are edible and are quite tart. I don't see this one as a street tree very often, but it's around. The crab apples are one of the first trees to grow new leaves around here, and if you look closely, you'll likely notice some fruit left over from last year if it wasn't eaten by birds, and you'll also see young flower buds getting ready to bloom in just a few weeks. Crab apples are great street trees in my opinion, especially for tight areas or planted under power lines. Enjoy this random daffodil in a street tree pit. Thank you, daffodil, for adding some color. The saucer magnolias are pretty much in peak bloom. These are quite nice, but if temperatures dip below freezing, many of the flowers will turn brown and fall off. The fresh flower petals are edible and are quite tasty, and sort of have a spicy, gingery flavor. I don't see this one as a street tree very often, but it's a popular one for parks and small courtyards, like in this space here. This is one of the native magnolias. This is Sweet Bay Magnolia, which is native to the eastern U.S., and although it's not currently in bloom, I just wanted to point it out and appreciate it, because it's not a common street tree here at all. But this one looks quite happy. The Bradford pears or calorie pears are just starting to bloom here and I'm sure we'll all be smelling them soon. Notice the giant branch tear outs from these weak wooded trees that have fallen apart in the past and thankfully we're not planting these trees anymore. And lastly, these native service berries will be in bloom soon. These are really cool looking flower buds that are just peeking out. I'm really looking forward to these service berries. And I've even seen folks gathering the service berries from these trees in this little grove. That's it. I hope you learned something new and I hope you can get out there and enjoy spring.